<sighs> okay, good morning, everybody. So what an interesting evening. So the name of this video is bio warfare. And the reason why I'm talking about bio warfare, because yes, we are under a very interesting microbial biological front of warfare or biological warfare on many different fronts. Okay. It's not just in the air. Now you're like, Oh God, Jillian, didn't you just say Kate the chemtrails? Well, you know, here's the thing. Chemtrails don't affect me. And I never, you know, as soon as I understood Jilly juice, the chemtrails never affected me. I never worried about 5G, which I never did anyways, even before Jilly Juice. Um, never worried about anything. But I'm just going to say this, that we are under a biological warfare. Now, I'm not going to presume that there is nefarious intentions. Yes, there is, I guess, a depopulation agenda. There is a Georgia, there's a Georgia Guidestones that we could use as a substantiation because it was erected in, the, erected in the 80s in like seven or eight different languages. And then it was subsequently taken down after so much controversy around it. And of course it was being defaced. And yeah, I mean, I, I still, if I were to say that your government is trying to attack you, that would probably turn off a multitude of people who are really not prepared to hear something like that. But is it true? I mean, for me not to say it, does that still make it, you know, does it still make it, does it still make it true when you don't say it? You know, it doesn't even matter at this point. The campaigns of that are across the world, you know, with China, I mean, it's, it's so involved that I can't even put my, I, I couldn't even tell you there's a good guy or a bad guy. I mean, there's, there's so many multitudes of campaigns going on that there's, it's impossible to really, to really find a way to substantiate every single theory or every single, um, uh, scenario that someone has and act as if it was true or act if it was a fact. Okay, we are under a biological warfare attack, we are. And why am I saying this? Well, I mean, last night around 2.40 a.m., my dog felt the effects. Now, I know you're wondering, like, what do you mean by felt the effects? Well, when animals go through a upset of homeostasis and a morphine, there are symptoms involved. And then, uh, then some don't survive it, and then some do, and just basically bounce back and as if nothing ever happened. And that's what's been going on every, every single time I feel a change since the COVID. Okay. I have felt my biochemistry shift some weird stuff, whether it was like a headache, whether it was a sneezing fit, whether it was like diarrhea or something or digestive issue that wasn't triggered by, you know, anything that I was doing purposely. Um, whenever there was a pain, whenever within the last like six months since January, I know it had to do with something with the COVID, COVID-19, okay? Because I've been exposed to the flu and people who rec recently got the flu shot and was perfectly fine. My body adapted to that atmosphere every single winter and fall since like 20, since the spring of 2018 when I came back from Dr. Phil. Okay, so I knew it wasn't, it's not the flu that I was reacting to or it's any kind of like healing symptoms induced by the changes of the recipe that someone else wanted to claim because they didn't want to admit that the virus was there. So, so my dog felt, so my dog and I have been feeling the effects. We know there's something going on. I felt effects yesterday. My sugar dropped. Sugar felt something last night. She was going through kind of the same hypoglycemic type of thing. And so she bounce, bounces back, I bounce back, but the virus is mutating, okay? The virus is mutating. And you know, I know my husband feels some kind of weird things going on too in his body. And he's not on the J-Juice. So you know, I have a more concern over him than really anything else. But he's a big boy and he will make his own decisions, okay? So I just, you can kind of, I'm just like kind of hands off like that. But um, yeah, so bio warfare and, and this thing with the hydroxychloroquine and then this whole election thing and, 
and the Democrats and Republicans and what and now I'm seeing kind of really the, the, the writings on the wall. I mean, looking at one picture, I know it's not just one picture out of Hawaii where there's a ballot box in the middle of a parking lot that's not even an official ballot box. It's just a ballot box where you can just put in your ballots, just drop it off at some drop off location. And then somebody who, who knows what is going to then take them away in the middle of the night. And no one's around to watch what's going on. How is that really uh, an official type of of uh, process to, you know, formalize counting the votes and all that. I mean, now I'm kind of seeing just the, like, what I've already knew a couple of years ago when I was in the conspiracy world, how do you really know, you know, your vote counted? How do you know anything counted? How do you know it's not all just, you know, pomp and circumstance and, you know, and rituals for whatever. And so, I, so that's why I kind of gave up the conspiracy world because I couldn't substantiate all of my innate feelings. And that's why I said I couldn't really entertain you guys that are just spouting off, oh God, it's a conspiracy, it's this, it's that. Because nobody could really give me, besides articles and, and somebody, some blog sites, nobody could really, really substantiate. And so the only way you could substantiate is when you actually see how stupid it's become. And you have to realize what is the common thing that both the left and the right are supporting. But you have to understand what that common thing is, how that common thing is detrimental to their constituents, okay? When you have very immunocompromised people in both the left and the right, and you're okay with max vaccination campaigns, but why are vaccines bad? They're not bad inherently if you are able to release the excess. Okay, vaccines and prescription drugs, which if you're able to release excess antibodies, you wouldn't need vaccines to begin with, and you wouldn't need prescription drugs or holistic remedies. But the, the, the whole, their justification of why vaccines and prescription drugs is because there are people who are weak that are, that, that, that don't have control over their body really, and the parents don't know what they're doing. And so, yes, modern medicine has to step in and give the baby a transition into the environment. Like I said, when mothers are taking antibiotics and destroy the evolution in their uterus, this is when the baby doesn't have enough immunity or adaptation or enough antibodies and adaptation to help them transition to the new world when they're coming out of the womb. And so this is why the justification for the vaccine campaigns. But right now it's being taken to another level. So I'm seeing like yesterday, this whole thing with those doctors, the real doctors, like in some foreign country that even Trump doesn't know who this person is, but he's backing her up as if he knows her and she's been qualified to make these types of claims. Okay, she's promoting and so is he a prescription drug that most of you anti-vaxxers are against anyways. Okay, anti-vaxxers and holistic people and conspiracy anti-government people, how the hell could you be backing a prescription drug when you've been all over your Facebook saying that big pharma and prescription drugs and vaccines are so horrible, but the reason why you're saying that because you think it's all the poisons. What do you think are poisons? Which remember, it's perception. Oh, it's the formaldehyde. It's the, it's the toxic chemicals. But that doesn't even explain what the hell you're talking about. That's very vague and very subjective, of course, right? That's why there's no credibility and people don't take conspiracy people and anti-vaxxers very, uh, they don't take them seriously because they're not actually speaking in scientific terms. They're not talking antibi antibodies. Okay, when a, an anti-vaxxer substantiates their reason why they're anti-vax, oh, it's because of the formaldehyde, the baby fetus cells, and the, the mercury and all that stuff, and and actual science people like that work in a lab and understand the microbiome and the elements are just like, dude, this person's off their rocker. When you actually speak in scientific terms like antibodies, inducing antibodies on a body that potentially could not handle the amount of, of triggering antibody, then yes, you are now speaking a doctor's language, you're speaking a nurse's language, you're speaking a, a, a lab person's language, 
you're speaking from intelligence because you understand what causes a body to go into inflammation which people are trying to stop which is basically the healing process it's the evolution process and that's where you have to come from and so when you're speaking from that intelligent point of view then you actually probably render that health professional completely just silent because they know that you can't put uh, an, an AB positive blood type to an O negative blood type because of the antigen inducing antibodies that would shut the body down and so so when I'm seeing Trump back someone that is promoting hydroxychloroquine, which is basically an antiviral, antiviral is anti-host because a virus is not alive. You can't kill a freaking virus, okay? Um, it actually, the antivirals actually destroy the host. And there are specific, there's probably RABS and MABS, which is basically antibodies and types of IgA components in there that are search and destroying specific cells that are trying to evolve exposed to that specific virus it's targeting and destroying the cells destroying your healthy cells but how those rabs and mabs which is basically um mono, monoclonal antibodies how they target those specific cells because it's programmed to do that it's a programmed bioengineered antigen inducing antibody and it's going after evolution in your body and that's what hydroxychloroquine is used for is for anti-parasitics is for use for um lupus and all these autoimmune disorders okay and so it destroys the host and that's why there's side effects on prescription drugs because you are taking antibodies and destroying your body and the body's trying to evolve so you're going to feel pain in different areas relative to what the side effects say and relative to your predispositions and we're seeing you know doctors um well we're seeing these doctors in different countries promote that because that's all they've been taught and then people who are like oh i hate doctors i hate you know big pharma and biotech and rockefeller are just going out there you know buying the bait or you know hook line and sinker just being completely played and i and i in yesterday it just tripped me out because here's the thing i have never been fact checked as far as jilly juice on my page and you think the, the, the person that would be fact checked the most as far as promoting anything that is horrible for the body if you think it would be me right because based upon all of your perception that Jilly just goes against the system and she's like you know she's a whatever this and whatever that and so someone yesterday tried to tell me that Facebook fact checked them on Jilly juice and I about fucking came unglued I deleted her from my Facebook kicked her off my stuff because I've never been fact checked against anything that I've said around jelly juice probiotics salt and anything that I have said within the last you know ever the only thing I've been fact checked on is stuff about the briots and the bricks and the things that we were fearful about as far as um, the left and the right and anything political but as far as jelly juice I have never been fact checked and if you claim you have been around jelly juice I'm gonna challenge you and ask and I'm not even ask you to prove it because I don't even want to go down that road if you want to go down that road where you're saying that that Facebook has fact checked Jilly Juice you're off my Facebook because now you're trying to put it out there that Jilly Juice is like the other antibiotics like hydroxychloroquine and if you put me in that category you don't belong on my Facebook because you know very well Jilly Juice is not like a prescription drug Jilly Juice is not anti-human it's not anti-life it's not even anti-fucking biotic so don't even go there by trying to tell me that Jilly Juice has ever been fact checked by Facebook because I will delete you so quickly because there is nothing about Jilly Juice that harms a human being but the only why the only reason why this person said it is because they're trying to prop up their own agenda that Facebook is against anything that could be revolutionary or evolutionary to the human body and that if they say that Jilly Juice was fact checked just like the hydroxychloroquine then they would feel uh, vindicated that Facebook is against humanity and no Facebook is not against humanity but yes they are part of the larger agenda of of, of, um, uh, of, all, of just the whole divide and conquer and all that crap but then you know when you put yourself in position of left and right it's bound to happen where somebody is gonna put out some disinfo and it's gonna be fact check and then um, subsequently taken off the internet but yeah hydroxychloroquine is not something to back just because Trump backed it or the Republicans backed it 
And it kind of pissed me off and seeing people who said they're on jelly juice say, oh, I'm going to take the hydroxychloroquine. And I know the reason why they're going to do it because freaking Trump. So I'm not really impressed with my president right now. Am I regretting me backing him? Hell no, because you know what? At this point, when you're playing in political theater and we're being told that, you know, these different countries are, are wanting to kill the U.S. and this and that, and we don't want a weak president. We don't want a, 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 fish, a wishy-washy president. We want someone strong. But look, now we have the coronavirus that is basically putting us all on an equal playing field. We don't hear too much about terrorism as far as, you know, Iran, Iraq, or any other Muslim nation, you know, because they were never really terrorists. It's just, you you understand now we're seeing something else. There's a bigger theatrical thing going along. You know, if it wasn't terrorism and, and all this other crap, now it's bioterrorism. Now it's we have our own people on our own soil destroying our cities. I mean, you just go from one extreme to the other, and it's just like, okay, you know, I'm just so weary of all this, but then I'm not because I know that this is what we're going to have to deal with until the powers that be get what they want, which is a dilution of the population of 7 billion people. So I got to deal with my environment changing on a constant basis and arguments changing on a constant basis. And, you know, I... And I'm watching right now Trump sabotaging himself. And that's why I'm thinking, like, you know what? There's definitely some theater going on. He's not a very good actor now because why any intelligent human being who is a president would not back some foreign doctor that has not been fully vetted out, has not had a background check on them, has not been, that hasn't been researched to such an extent that when you back someone, you don't want any bad crap come to surface. Okay, I mean, even people in the in the in the White House or in even in, you know, in, as a CEO or any big company, you're not supposed to have things that are going to compromise the, the, the reflection of the company. You know, you're supposed to have certain moral clauses that you have to, that you have to uphold. If you have any kind of felonies or any kind of warrants or any kind of misdemeanors, that has to come up in a background check in whatever position you're putting in. And if you're being used as a prop or being used as a, as part of your of your cabinet and you're backing something like a drug like hydroxychloroquine and, and you're and you're parodying and promoting somebody that's across the world, wouldn't it behoove you to see what else this person has said? I mean, look, I'm not if I would never be put in any position in a political thing because of my research back when Dr. Phil came out and they've mischaracterized me talking about the uh, what is a man and a woman and what creates a baby where they thought that I was homophobic. And no, I'm not homophobic, but the way people wanted to characterize my research was their justification. And so would I be on anyone's platform, any ballot, would I be in some big company, you know, promoting something? No, because that would come and haunt me down the road. And so whatever, I do what I do. I apologize for the miscommunication around that because I've never been homophobic, but I've had to go and do some research regarding what is what I would think is normal in our society, which would then inevitably, um, offend somebody else so you can't even say what is normal in our society because we don't even know and so that's why Julie juice it doesn't claim any kind of specific construct because we don't know what normal is we're still in the process of morphing back to what we were originally intended whatever the hell that was and there is no actual model of what was originally intended we're just evolving and going with the environment okay so it's like so yeah, so that's the thing is I know reality wise, I know reality wise, you don't put somebody as 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 a tool in your chest to use to back up and promote your own thing without vetting somebody out and making sure that you can you can um, answer and dispel any myths or any miscommunications about a person's past, whatever it is. So when I'm seeing my own president sabotage himself by doing that and by promoting hydroxychloroquine, it begs the question, what the fuck is really going on? Is he actually sabotaging himself on purpose? And if we do have, you know, Biden as president, are you guys that are on the way right? Are you guys going to have a hissy fit? And I'm just like, you know, this is major political theater, major political theater. So all I'm doing is going like, oh, I got to deal with this virus. It changes and it morphs. 
when I felt my sugar drop yesterday, and it was a it's a weird feeling too. Okay, I've and I feel it sometimes that happens before my period, and I know around the time where I should be getting my period at some point, right between the now and the next ten days, but but the the funny thing that makes it different that why I think my sugar dropping and my biochemistry changing is different than uh, wondering if my period's gonna come up is because my dog felt the same thing. She had the same type of reaction, a hypo type of hypoglycemic reaction. And so it's just like, okay, so my dog and I felt the same, like her and I are like, we have the same biochemistry. It's like, yeah, your dog is man's best friend. They take on the characteristics of the owner. Both my dog and I have been on the Jilly Juice. We both have gone through our healing process and we both are like can canaries in a coal mine we can tell when the environment changes i can tell when the environment changes for her and for me too i feel it and so when i took when i when my sugar dropped all i did was take some jelly juice go to bed and then wake up really quickly and go go to the bathroom and release all the excess poop in my system which i felt really good because yeah it wasn't like i was harboring a lot of poop but but I don't eat a lot nowadays. And so um, when I do these resets with the JJ's, because I, I can, um, I can tell when, uh, if I don't do waterfalls every single day, there's residual poop that stayed in the system. That's part of your microbiome. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not like I take jelly every day to, to clean me out 24 seven. No, you have whatever poop in your system, which needs to have the current antibodies of the day, it, it's your part of your microbiome. That's why they do fecal transplants, right? Because that holds all the different um, viruses, parasites, protozoa, proteins, fungus, and bacteria. And that is who you are. That's what sends the great messages to keep everything going. So a little bit of poop in your system is not bad. You just need to eliminate every day because that's the excess. But when you want to do a major reset to really, you know, especially when you're feeling your biochemistry get all shifty because of the environment. And yes, this virus is airborne. Okay, you can say, well, I could, I could have caught it when I went to the store, you know, buying some items from the convenience store. And then I got the antibody, whatever it is, it's laying dormant. And then it finally came to surface. That could very well be true. And it could also be airborne because, yes, you know, virus, you know, antibodies do you know do i don't know how long but they say well they talk about viruses but antibodies are a you know it is a a protein that can be carried in the wind if someone coughed and then it's it was stormy the other day and someone coughs in the wind and they're transferring their antibodies out there and people are like oh yeah you gotta wear a mask but even you know even wearing a mask you're and the only way, and even then, if, if everybody 100% wore a mask and just sealed off every single part of their face and they washed their hands religiously and everyone did exactly the same thing at exactly the same time and no one bucked the system, maybe you might contain it. Maybe. But you know you can't control 50% of the population wearing a mask, 50% not wearing a mask. So there's no way to know really if masks work. You can say, oh, you know, other countries, they all wear a mask and they all do this and they all do that. And, and you know, maybe that's true. But at this point, it doesn't even matter. The virus is out there. You're either going to deal with it or you're not going to deal with it. It's out there. No mask is going to save you. No amount of hydroxychloroquine is going to save you. And when people are... And people are saying on their Facebook, oh, yeah, I won't put it out there that if I get the COVID, I don't want to get the ventilator. I want to get the hydroxychloroquine. And yes, if people said, oh, yeah, my 82-year-old grandma took it, no side effects, and she's great and whatever. And, and yeah, there may be a certain percentage that may have those types of results. And then there's also another huge percentage that are going to take the hydroxychloroquine. And it's going to have adverse reactions. There's going to be kidney issues, liver issues, heart issues, blood issues, because those are the side effects of hydroxychloroquine. And if you have those kind of predispositions in your body, as far as the liver, the kidneys, the, basically the vital freaking organs, then you're not going to survive the hydroxychloroquine. And even then, that eight-year-old grandmother that recovered from the COVID from the hydroxy, it's laying the groundwork because if she had had no side effects, it means that she's already been anesthetized and been immune. And yeah, she it dried up the mucus for that minute, for that minute so she's not feeling the symptoms. She still holds the excess antibodies. And then guess what? And then guess what? 
who knows down the road, you know, uh, what she's what she's going to what kind of complications are going to arise from that. So just because someone recovers for a day or a week or two, you know, are you going to really follow that person that took the hydroxychloroquine and see exactly what their issues are? And then when a person dies, oh, it was their time, natural causes. But hey, the, the freaking drug worked for that five days, one day, two weeks, a year. So it's like, so it's just the smoke and mirrors around these drugs where they work for their, you know, for whatever certain amount of time that you have left on your timeline. And so, and so that's why I'm just like, dude, you guys, why don't you promote jelly juice instead of promoting hydroxychloroquine? Why would you promote something that induces more antibodies? Okay, especially when people can't afford to be taking on more antibodies. It, it basically accelerates the aging process. I mean, it's already been proven that you don't put an AB positive blood in an O negative person's body because you don't want to have the rapid antibody accumulation. And then when you die from a heart attack, it's because you have so many antibodies clogging up your arteries and capillaries. And when you die from bronchitis because all of your mucus is drowned you, which is basically all the different antibodies trying to leave your system and mucus is a carrier force. Oh, but nobody wants to understand that. It's easier to promote some cons to, to, to support the not wearing the mask, which is one PSYOP, to then fall into another side of promoting zinc and zithrom zithromycin or whatever, or zithromax, and also hydroxychloroquine. So you go from one side up to another side up, and all of you guys are still stuck in the conspiracy political world. You're going to go from one psychological operation to another, and you'll never get out of it. And then you'll inevitably be promoting something that's going to be detrimental to your friends and your family and you. And jelly juice has no psychological operation to it. There is no side up with jelly juice. You got to face your pain. You got to face the demons. You got to rebuild your body. You got to release the excess. Yes, you got to shit. Yes, you got to blow your nose if you have to. And there is no political agenda around jelly juice, but there's a political agenda around all these drugs and holistic remedies. And every single one of you that don't promote jelly juice are going to fall for every single one of those. And so I'm just like, so I put my hands up and I'm like, and I'm just going like really quickly on my phone and on my computer. Those of you that are on the jelly juice promoting hydroxychloroquine, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? You have jelly juice. Why the fuck would you promote hydroxychloroquine over jelly juice? And you say you're doing jelly juice? No, you're fibbing. You're not doing jelly juice. You're just trying to stay politically relevant. And that's what's going to be your downfall. Those of you that still stay in, play in the politics. That will be your downfall. If symbolism is their downfall, your downfall is that you think there's a difference between the Democrats and the Republicans, and there isn't. Both are playing the same game, which I said before a couple years ago, but now I can substantiate it. When both parties are promoting vaccines, which induce antibodies, and both parties are playing the whole for and against around hydroxychloroquine. Oh, I'm, oh CNN, we're against hydroxychloroquine, but we're waiting for the Russians or whoever to promote, to create a vaccine that is going to then induce antibodies because so you can survive the COVID, but it's pretty much too late for those that have been exposed to the COVID, you know, uh, that can't handle it anyway. So you think that if they can't, if a person can handle the environment now, you think that they're gonna be able to handle a vaccine well, that's the that's the the theory is that the vaccine is going to help you transition, and maybe it was a couple of years ago when they were nation building when I did that whole um, vignette about the 2012 Olympics. Because I remember back then when I was really heavily into the conspiracy, watching the videos and reading all the articles, and just like, oh my God, they were telling you exactly what what was going to happen, in, and and showing you the showing you the rise and fall of the West. Okay, the rise and the fall of the West and bringing in the new world order. And so, yes, that whole, you know, an hour and a half showing the, you know, all the different acts and vignettes with the 2012 opening ceremonies. Yeah, it shows that, you know, the, the industrial revolution, the suffragettes, the immigration nation building, and, um, and maybe the vaccines were helping the nation building. But now you can instead of turning the vaccine to something good like they were back then. Now maybe it's it's being um, accelerated to then have more of an evolutionary response on bodies that can't handle that evolutionary response. And so now you're saying something that was good way back when now turn into something bad. And so, you know, if you are going to participate in anything political, if you're going to promote anything antibiotic, whether it's hydroxychloroquine or even a vaccine without jelly juice as the first thing that you do, because you know it's hard to get rid of all of your belief systems right off the bat. So you've got to transition slowly for those of you that are still heavily into all the politics and 
and whatever. And so you do Julie Juice to help release the excess and then eventually you'll wean yourself off the prescription drugs and then eventually you'll see that there's no reason for a vaccine. If you do take a vaccine because it's mandatory, you'll handle it. It's not going to hurt you. And then you will finally become centered when you do Julie Juice. But I'm seeing people who say, oh, I'm on Julie Juice and they are freaking off their rocker. They are freaking off their rocker. And, and they're like, oh yeah, I was there when you first started out Julie Juice, but they're not doing the new recipe and they don't have any kind of testimony and they are still buying into the left versus the right like really heavily and they're promoting hydroxychloroquine which is a prescription drug okay and 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 so you're going to see some of your ones that are there still they were anti big pharma anti this anti that because they're republican they're now pro big pharma okay yeah get, do more of the hydroxychloroquine and, and when you and you and you put those two together hydroxychloroquine and vaccines they both induce antibodies it's not going to matter which one you do those that don't get a vaccine, well, you're going to get one at some point if you are part of the system in some way, shape, or form. They're going to make it mandatory at some point. But let's say you don't get one right away and you have complications from the COVID and, you're like, and you want the hydroxychloroquine, it's antibody-inducing. You you, if you have predispositions, you're not going to survive even the cure. So, you know, it's like you can't win for losing when you are playing politics out there with all the different psychological operations. And it's interesting to watch people that are anti-government, anti-establishment still fall for the establishment's psychological operations, okay? They know exactly your reactions. They know your belief systems. We've laid our cards out. I laid my cards out, but I'm rising above. People know exactly what I'm doing. It's probiotic. Why I haven't been fact checked or have things removed off my timeline why I haven't been why ha, why I have not had my channel being taken down on YouTube is because I don't promote antibiotics I don't promote antibodies and that's exactly what the whole point of the Ohio Attorney General asking me questions is your juice probiotic and if it is please substantiate and lo and behold one of my good friends on Facebook who is doing her own thing now but back then we were like really in contact because of the vaccine thing well, you know, she said, go get your juice tested. And so I did, and it showed that there was 13 million colony forming units of lactobacillus. I was able to survive in the amount of salt that I had it in. And there you go. Okay. Because lactobacillus needs a very good environment, whether it's sugar or whether it's salt to be able to thrive in. If you don't have sugar or salt as a, uh, a constituent of your recipe of the environment then you can't be growing that kind of beneficial bacteria however when you're growing something in sugar and you have candida issues you have fungal issues and you're taking a lot of sugar that's when you're going to see more of the imbalances and then antibodies because to try to then keep the balance of the fungus and that's why antifungals are part of the drug world to try to stop growing fungus but you don't want to stop the fungus to grow you just want to control it with the right chemistry okay so that's why we're not promoting the kombuchas and the apple cider vinegars and the fruit and kefir you know lactobacillus um, probiotics because some people have fungal issues okay so that's why the j juice is so important because it has a salt that balances everything out it doesn't just feed one part of your microbiome or, or it doesn't feed like predominantly feed the fungus and yes, repopulate your gut, but that fungus is just going to overshadow whatever good that lactobacillus is doing. And then you become also, you know, lactic acidosis because you're taking so much lactic acid and you don't have a balancing force and you have the sugar because you love the taste of sugar. So those that are doing major, major sugary probiotic drinks are going to have lactic acidosis. And then you got to go and find the electrolytes to go and offset that. And, and that's where it becomes just real circuitous in the holistic world because people don't understand chemistry and they don't understand how it, it, it impacts our biochemistry. And so they're always constantly going from one extreme to the other and they never get a hold on their health. And you see it because they're aging and degrading. And so that's why jelly juice is so great because, yes, you can add after it's been fermented, you can add, you know, fruit syrup if you have weight um, gain issues because the sugar in fruit syrup will add calories to your body, add fat to your body that you so desperately need because fatty acids hold the prostaglandins. The prostaglandins are the healing hormones to be able to help you heal and evolve. And that's why people who are elderly who are people who have very minimal fat, 
don't heal very well. And when they're aging, you see it in their body. Though they get their 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 you know facials and their estheticians and all their Botox, but that's going to work against them over time. They are aging and degrading and all of that. And they're trying to have a no fat diet to a low fat diet, and it's going to work against them. So, yeah, we're in a bio warfare. You know, could we say it's it's China doing it? And I see people who are very very right wing, right wing extremists trying to blame everything on China. How they're all about the Illuminati and it's all the Chinese Illuminati. I mean, you're seeing them shift from one like focus, like the Illuminati is now all the old all the Freemasons to now it's communist China that's doing it and then it's Russia. And you saw me go through the same thing, blaming different, you know, governments and different countries for whatever. And then you realize, you know what, they're all working together. It's one big happy family. And you're right, George Carlin said George Carlin said they don't care about you. No, they don't care about you. They oh, you have to care about you. You have to be the one to hold yourself in high esteem. You have to be the one to be strong because they're not trying to kill off the strong. They need the strong to keep the factories going, to keep infrastructure going, so that way they can still live high on the hog. You really think that the, you're, you're, the kings and queens out there back in the 1700s, 1800s want to kill off all their people? They didn't want to kill them off. They wanted to have them buy into supporting their coffers. Because who's going to give them all that food if it wasn't for the population or all of those different feasts in the in the in the halls of whatever, you know, when, when, when you have um, uh, Rockefeller and the, the Clintons and the Epsteins and all these really rich people, they're not going to go and make all the food and hunt for the, 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 the pig or the chickens and everything. They want someone to make their food for them. They want someone to make their different beautiful lalique crystals and their collections of art. They need somebody to go and and do all these different things to keep their kingdom running. Okay. So what are they? What 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 are the elite in this bio warfare doing? They're getting rid of the people who are weak. And so they don't care about you in the sense that they're going to give you the option to strengthen yourself or destroy yourself because you only have two options. So you have to care about you. It's not about them care about you. If you go to Trump or go to Biden or anyone else and say, oh, yes, please be my savior. They ain't going to save a weak ass person because you have nothing to contribute to them. You have nothing to contribute to Trump if you can't take care of yourself. You have nothing to contribute to Biden if you can't take care of yourself. You'll be gone like that as soon as you take the newest and latest and greatest drug or or antibody you know, protocol therapy. OK. So who are they targeting? When you talk about, about uh, Bill Gates, they're targeting the weak. And if you're having trouble with any of this stuff out there, you are weak. Hey, Terry Lynn. <laughs> Thank you, girl. And so, you know, you got to understand that you are the only one that could be the one to save yourself in all of this mess and rise above the bullshit. And that's what I've been saying for such a long time for those that are still stuck in trying to demonize and trying to expose, which I understand trying to expose. But in the meantime, you really got to put yourself on the forefront and don't fall for all these political machinations because it is very political. And no matter which way you go, right or left, you're inevitably going to be supporting the, 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 the degradation and the destruction of the weak. And if that is your intention, OK, but I'm trying to give even the weak a chance to understand what's going on and try to give them some kind of window of opportunity to where they don't have to be weak. OK where they can rise above all this, where they can have a chance. And, and even if you are poor and you live next to a Walmart and and you have no car and you're on disability, you know, at 600 bucks a month living in some little thing and you don't have a refrigerator or you have a refrigerator, but it's only like a tiny one and you're poor again, then you can still do the JJ's, get a few jars and you can leave out a jar, you know, indefinitely and rotate your jars and mix and stir and you don't have to refrigerate, just make sure you keep consuming faster so you don't have to deal with yeast and whatever, but you don't have to put as much cabbage in, in, in your recipe, put cabbage in there, but not so much to where it grows stuff on the top, but make sure you mix and stir. And then you can be the most poorest person in the world and still do jelly juice. You get the white salt. There's not there's no specialized pink salt that you're doing. I want to give this access to anyone that is so poor or so rich. So now you have the opportunity to, to, to have no excuse why you don't do jelly juice, why you don't strengthen your body. You, have, you will have no excuse, okay? 
And so that's why I've made it to be so easy for people and, and substantiate it. Okay, why the white salt? Because you're getting the minerals from the air, the air, your food, your water, all of that, okay? And so you don't need to have heavy minerals and heavy metals in your salt. People still got healing, but they were plateauing, okay? So now when you do the jelly juice, you're gonna have your minerals from, the, from your food, from the cabbage and the kale, from the water, from the air you're gonna get, and then you're gonna activate your immune system, release the excess, absorb what you need, go through the healing process. It's very cut and dry. There is no diet. And maybe you'll give yourself some time to rest because maybe, yeah, you're one of those that are social distancing. You're one of those that are not in the essential workers and you are given enough latitude and you've taken, you've cut your expenses down. So you're not working so hard to keep, to keep up your mortgage and your boat payment and all these different payments. And you've given yourself the opportunity to heal, to rest. Okay. You must rest if you're going to do Jilly Juice. Give yourself that opportunity to do the waterfalls, to rest, to feed yourself, don't starve yourself, to understand that everything that you go through on the Jilly Juice is the body trying has been trying to do it for many centuries and you have never left, let it do it. Your predecessors never let their body evolve. Your grandparents, your parents never let their body evolve to the point of where it could be um, unaffected. Well, it'll be affected by the environment, but to where you won't have to die and contract some exotic illness, okay? And so all these illnesses are from a type of bio-warfare. And like some people said, well, we wouldn't have cancer if it wasn't being intended to have cancer. And you're absolutely right. When you are inducing antibodies and not releasing the excess and you're promoting the vaccines, you're promoting the, the different drugs. Um, okay, Lindsay Lou, yes. When you're promoting the different drugs, give me a second, I will, okay? But when you're promoting all the different holistic remedies and all the different turmeric and honeys and elderberry syrup, you are taking part in that campaign of destruction, inducing antibodies. And now we have the opportunity not to do, we have the opportunity to release the excess and still be able to adapt and evolve and still be able to take pieces of the pie because yeah, you're not gonna be rich like Bill Gates. You're not gonna be rich like, you know, um, like Amazon, Jeff Bezos. They're, they're a part of a elite club that you'll never ever belong to, but at least you can take pieces of the pie and still have a good life on a continuous basis. You don't have to have, you know, a 50 room mansion, 50,000 feet, you know, mansion, whatever, with all this land. No, you just want to be able to cut out a, a carve out a piece of the world that you can, you know, that you can thrive on and be in relative peace you follow the laws of the land you be kind to your neighbors be kind to your animals and if you need to if we need to have animals as food it means must be done in a humane way and then you know and then and and just let people be people and 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 not deal and not have all this crap but you know right now when we're inducing antibodies and we're making you know people's predispositions as entertainment and that's what you see on the TLC channel and the A&E and and even on Netflix yeah you're going to see all of this crazy you know up and down criminal activity riots and protests and all the different social issues and social programs and then it becomes just a no one situation for people who take part in that so all delay juice does is ha helps you rise above yeah, we're under a biological warfare right now, and it's coming from all sides. You can't escape it, except for the jelly juice. And I have did not even think that I would put myself in this type of position where I've cornered this market. But the elite know most people will not be able to handle the healing process. So they're fine with having me out there. They're fine with putting me on Dr. Phil. They were fine. They're fine with me having a YouTube channel, having a Facebook business page, having a Facebook, as long as I'm abided by community standards, not promoting antibiotics, I'm fine to say whatever I want. I'm not making claims I could do this and that because I have no idea what to do in your world. I can't guarantee anything as far as anything beneficial for you because you have to understand the jelly juice. I'm not your doctor. I don't want to be your doctor. I'm not your consultant. I don't want to be your consultant. I try not to answer any questions unless there's clarification does my juice look good and what happens if this happens and then my book is there to tell you okay if you have too much salt as far as you put too much or you overdid it or whatever well then just add more water and add more you know the cabbage and kale or whatever you know there's there, those are the type of questions i'll answer but as far as what to expect for you well 
read my book and look at your family medical history and all of your PTSD and predispositions. And that'll tell you exactly what the side effects are, which is basically the body trying to evolve. Okay. So, um, so you got to understand you can't escape it except that you can escape the ramifications of the changing environment when you strengthen your body to adapt to it. So no, the elite are not going to kill off the strong. They need the strong. And all of you guys are strong. The elite are trying to kill off the useless eaters, the ones that are not contributing, the ones that are causing a ruckus, the ones that are causing a reason for family medical, for family, for family court, the reasons for social services and CPS. That's who the elite are trying to to get rid of, or those that are not contributing. And so if you are contributing by being one of their science experiments and you're on TV on the TLC, then that they're not going to kill you off. They're going to keep you alive for as long as possible until you are not worth anything anymore. And then you'll be gone. So you always have to justify your place in this society. You will always have to justify your place and you, nothing is for free in this world. Nothing. You have to earn your, your way, whatever it is. No one, no one gave the caveman you know, their meat and their, their crops. No, he had to actually work for it. He had to actually go out there and hunt. He had to go and till the land and create inventions to make his life easier and then find ways, you know, to create more inventions to, to help with other stuff. And so that's how you have this society where you have a lamp and you have, you know, climate control and you have a house and you have an infrastructure in your world. And that was what kept, you know, diversity going and as well as infrastructure and that's also what has given us some relative semblance of order but now you're seeing disorder because they're doing a new reset and either you fall in the cracks with everybody else who has fallen through the cracks or you rise above the cracks that's all i could offer you some of you will not be able to handle it and some of you will and i just have every hope in the world those of you that get it stay on it and not get caught up in the bullshit because I'm telling you, it's very easy to get caught up in the politics and then ignore your healing process and not understand indicators of healing and then try to suppress it. Okay, so Lindsay Lou, let me, uh, yeah, I'll give you the, um, I'll put the, let me, yeah, I'll put it there. So you guys have a good day, but do the jelly juice, read the book. I'll add you to the group, Lindsay Lou, and then, um, and just I ask that no questions in the group regarding what to expect. Um, everything should be pretty self-explanatory. There's even a video in my group on how to make it. So, um, yeah, and here's the thing. This is for Julie. Yeah. If you, here's the thing. So Julie Allen says, please, Julian, I cannot afford your book. I don't have a computer, but she's on a computer. I borrow a phone to look at your posts and find them very informative. I'm suggesting to follow your protocol. Can someone please tell what it is so I can get started? As I have Lyme and I'm already struggling. Thank you. Here's the thing. I'm going to delete this person off the Facebook because you know why? If you don't have the means to even get my information, whether it's a book or have some kind of, um, uh, access to the internet to watch my videos if you don't have that even that basic basic way of taking care of yourself and you're dependent on somebody else to walk you through this that you're not for the protocol it's not for you it's not for you and i wouldn't want them in my group because they would actually uh cause more harm than good and so if you can't even take care of yourself and be able to get to the store to read my information and you're relying on someone in my group or me to walk you through this, then, um, then, then you're not a candidate for it because you won't be able to understand or handle and be self-sufficient. If you're that sick, you don't need to, if you can't even take care of yourself, you, we're not your doctor. We are not your doctor. If you're that sick, it, it, but if you're that sick, then you need to see a doctor. But if you're that desperate for the jelly juice, then you need to either get the book or have access to a computer. But if you're asking someone to walk you through this and you're on a computer getting information, I don't buy that, oh, I can't afford the book and I can't afford to watch your videos, but you want someone to walk you through this and, and they're what, they're 50,000 miles away from you and you're getting the information from somebody who you could be getting information from a video on YouTube. 
And if you don't have a, a phone and you don't have Wi-Fi and you don't have that, I'm sorry, then I guess you're not you're not going to be able to do this. But I'm not going to sacrifice anybody in my world for you because you have those those type of disabilities. I'm sorry, but at some point you're going to have to be responsible for yourself. And I get a lot of people that don't want to take responsibility for themselves, that want someone else to babysit them, that want them to walk them through everything, want them to just be their doctor. And I'm not going to have anybody sacrifice their time and their energy for someone that is not willing to at least give themselves one ounce of respect and find a way to be somewhat sufficient in understanding and getting the information. Because even getting a book, you can have somebody, if you can't afford, you know, even the exchange rate, if you're if you're able to live in 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 australia if you're able to live in australia somebody is taking care of you somebody can get the book for you somebody could give you a phone and tie you into wi-fi so you can watch the videos i don't buy this i have nothing please somebody do something for me no that is not gonna that doesn't go over well with me at all so yeah i even have to to uh be discerning on who it is that i somewhat help on some level okay and and I don't really do a lot of I don't I don't do a lot of question and answer because of the very nature of some people will parasite off of you and so I don't want anybody in that position where somebody is parasiting off of you where they are just just, just taking 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 but not at all giving in any way shape or form I'm not saying monetary wise but I'm saying you know be self-sufficient stop being in my inbox 24 freaking 7 go read the questions or go read the book go watch a video follow my posts make yourself understand but there's nobody out there that can make you understand if you don't understand yourself okay and i've been down that road a lot in the last couple years and so i've drawn my boundaries okay so um so no i deleted her off my facebook because she's been on my facebook 24 7 trying to get somebody to give her answers that we can't give her she wants someone to walk her through all of this and there's no way i have a book if you can't afford the book i'm sorry i guess you can't do the protocol okay if you can't if you can't even get onto social media and to youtube and to watch videos and you i guess you can't do the protocol but yet you're on here asking people for it so i don't even know what the hell's going on so whatever but hey if but whatever so I don't know at this point it doesn't even matter people are people but i can't get too upset because we deal with all types but you know the whole point of the juice is to be self-sufficient to be independent not dependent upon somebody or the system too much okay and to understand your own indicators and respond to them in the right correct way so um all right so i'm going to send you Lindsay lou the link right now and there you go okay and uh at some point amazon i don't know when amazon's gonna have it and there's no ebook just so you know there's only there's only a paperback because i've had people who pirated the ebook and then tried to well and then distribute it so it's harder to distribute a paperback book okay it really is um so that's why it's only paperback so i don't know when i don't know when amazon is going to have paperback version but they said eight weeks from when i bought the book out there but since uh, lulu is going through uh, a business process change and the covid is also putting a little bit of a hamper on all of their business processes everything is taking probably twice as long than it would have taken last year okay so at this point if you can't get if you can't get Lou to send it to you wherever you are, Lindsay. Um, I think Lily and Ellison had the same thing. She's in Iceland. Uh, if you know if if the Amazon doesn't have it by at least by the end of this year, then yeah, I'll I'll figure out where I can work it out to send you it. You know, we'll figure out something. I don't know, but I don't want to get into shipping. I I really don't want to get into shipping and receiving because that's not my focus at all that's why i have a publisher they take care of all the headaches of shipping receiving and monetary stuff okay so um but if you can't get the book for whatever reason because they're not sending it to your country just let me know and that you're willing to watch the videos and not ask any questions and um and uh 
and you're willing to be self-sufficient. But I already can see anyone that doesn't want to get the book and <laughs> doesn't want to watch videos because they don't have a computer, but yet they're on they're online. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, can say yeah. I I you know I whatever. Because yeah, because even then. Because even then, even then, why are they on, how are they on Facebook on someone else's phone? That's what I don't understand. Oh, I don't have access to, I borrow my phone to look at your posts. But it means you have your, 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 your Facebook ID is attached to that person's phone. So you're logging in under your Facebook on somebody else's phone. Isn't that like a security thing? Why would you want to have your Facebook login and password and people say yeah people do it all the time but it doesn't make sense to me yeah I, I don't even want to go down that road no I don't even want to go down that road no nope. um I yeah I'm, I'm just over that so just I just yeah so if you are that desperate to understand jelly juice you will find a way to get the information and do it whether it's watch a video or get the book or be in my group where you don't tax anybody in my group and ask everybody questions because that's yeah and I know when somebody uh, when somebody says that they don't have access to anything except somebody telling them what how to do it they're not willing to do anything for themselves and I'm sorry you're sick but that's not my problem that's not my problem so, I mean, I kind of feel bad, but not, but I, this is what, this is what gets me in trouble is where I have so much of a heart where it puts me in, it puts me in a very messed up place to where then I regret having a heart. So that's why I'm kind of like a bootstrap kind of person. You know, you figure it out, you find a way to make, to, to get the information, but not because you're taxing my people or me because you have somebody in your world that's willing to get the information for you. Watch your videos with you. If you're borrowing your friend's phone, then you can watch the videos together. I have everything on my on my business page, in the pinned post, in the business page, how to make the jelly juice. It's a YouTube video. I have every single substantiation on waterfalls um, versus diarrhea, on salt and sugar and the diet. And there, there is what jelly juice is. I think I've given everybody all the information. If you still don't get it and, and you can't get a book and you're not willing, I, 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 there's nothing I can do for you. There's nothing. There is nothing I can do for you. So anyways, um, yeah. So watch you guys, watch out you guys, watch out for the parasites in your world that don't want to do anything for themselves and that want you to walk them through everything, want you to do everything for them that doesn't at all fly with me at all in my group as well as anyone in my life okay and so that is how you separate the men from the boys the women from the girls and that's what separates the strong from the weak and you even if you're not doing jelly juice you have to be relatively strong to be able to embark on jelly juice and if you're not strong enough to embark on jelly juice and don't even bother go see your doctor because we're not your doctor if you're not strong enough to embark on jelly juice on your own and have all of your necessary basic, baser stuff there in front of you, food, shelter, water, and access to money and access to um, the internet, then you can't survive in this world, much less embark on something like jelly juice. That's very easy, but can be very difficult for some people who are dealing with Lyme disease or dealing with any other disorder. Okay, and so, you know, you know, so now I have a choice of either dealing with their issues and having them beg everybody to give them something or cut them off. And sometimes I got to cut them off. And if you truly want to live, you'll go to my business page, watch the videos, make it. You're going to have to buy the salt. You're going to have to buy the cabbage. You're going to have to buy jars. You're going to have to get water. You're going to have to basically take some time. The amount of time that she's been on my Facebook commenting about chemtrails, she could have been watching a video learning how to do everything. When you guys are putting your energy towards chemtrails and towards all these activist stuff, but you're not putting your energy towards learning how to make the JJs on a video that I have on the pinned post 
in my business page, which is open to the public, because that's strategic on my end. I have uh, Exposing the Lies business page that has the pinned post with the videos. I have the Jilly Juice LLC business page that's open to the public and has a bunch of videos and how to do the Jilly Juice and all that and the recipe. And I have a group for those that want to just kind of say what they want to say regarding their process. And that's great. They give testimonies. And I have my personal page. And I have a website that has a book. I've covered all the bases. If, if none of those at all fit within your world, then you can't do the J juice. If you can't even derive any benefit from any of those, you know, modes of uh, media, communication. If you can't derive any benefit from that, then you can't do the J juice no matter what. You just can't. So good luck to all of you. I got to go, but um, I appreciate all of your listening and understand we are in a biological warfare. It's not boots on the ground. It's microbes. You're fighting at the micro level for your life. All right. Bye-bye.